This is a DCP workshop using DaVinci Resolve from your Apple ProRes 422HQ file. First of all, in Premiere Pro, check your timeline settings to make sure it's in 4K. Um, this should be matching your specifications of your original media. And then what you will do is go to export that file as an Apple ProRes 422HQ. The alternative is using an XML export, but this video is going over importing from Apple ProRes 422HQ uh, into DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing you'll do is go to Go and go to the Applications folder to find the studio version of DaVinci Resolve, which will be in the folder on your uh, in the CAS lab, you might have another DaVinci Resolve, but that won't be the studio version. Um, so, so what you want to do is to find this folder and open the software from here. When it launches, you'll see the studio icon appear. Um, so it's launching now. Create a new project. It wants to update the cache and this, the locations, which you will do. Notice down here you've got all these different toggle switches to open different interfaces. We'll start with Media, DaVinci Resolve, Preferences, Add your storage location. So you want to add your hard drive to this area. And Save. That will give permissions to find the files. And I'm going to import these DCP files that are in a folder. I'm just going to drag the folder down here to the bin area. Change frame rate don't change. Here are three types of files. These are all uh, Apple ProRes files. They're over here in the metadata window you can see that this first file is Apple ProRes 422HQ. It's uh, 4096 by 2160 which is DCI 4K. That's full 4K. This is uh, scope so you can see it's 4096 by 1716. This is not quite as high as the other one. And the final version is going to be what we call UHD. It's 3840 by 2160. So you need to check to see which yours is. And then what you'll do is create a timeline using those specifications. So we'll start with the full 4K. You say create new timeline using selected clip. It defaults to 1080p, so we don't want to use the original settings. We want to go to Format, and then what we want to do is to match the metadata settings. So what we'll do here, we know it's 4K uh, DCI. We're going to bring it down to this particular one for the first full 4K, and it will change it. It's changing it to 24. Um, but our project is 23976, so I will create. And then that is in the timeline. So let's then also, if you have scope, you will right click on this. Notice we've got our settings in the metadata window. Deselect use project settings, go to format. Come down here and you're going to set up the scope settings for that particular one. If your project is in scope, this can be changed to 23976. So now we have two timelines. The final timeline is UHD 4K, so we're going to make a timeline for this. We will say format, bring it down to, in fact, this, we, we're going to be thinking about the final resolutions for the DCP and DCI flat is the most similar one. So for UHD 4K, we're actually not going to use these exact settings. We're going to use something similar, uh, which will give us the 185. And so these, this is the pull down. It's going to be 3996. If you have uh, 3840 by 2160. So I will create a timeline for that. Uh, the first thing I want to do is to open up the full 4K 
timeline, which is this timeline. I'll double click it. That opens the edit pane. You can see the file here. Well, the first thing I want to do before doing any of this is give the project a name. So I'm going to say save project and the project, I'm going to put my last name underscore DCP final. I'm going to put the date so there's no confusion. That's going to be the due date for the first DCP. Save. And then when I go to the deliver pane, we're going to the deliver pane. This has already been color graded. We want to give the file a name, so I'm going to call it DCI. I'm going to call it my last name, underscore DCI full container. Location, I'm going to browse the location, put it on my hard drive. I'm going to put it here so I don't lose it. DCPs and create. So it's going to go into my DCP folder. Uh, these are the specifications. You want to go to DCP. Uh, Kaduko, these are the settings, and then you're going to go down to, in this case, for senior seminar students who have full 4K files you're working with, you will set this for 4K DCI, okay? Everything else is staying the same. Then you will add it to the render queue. It's going to give you an error message that you're not using five-point surround sound, add anyway, and render. While it's rendering, it shows the in-progress timeline. It shows how much time is remaining, so there's 43 seconds remaining. Now, when you're doing your other project, uh, this is just a little clip. Yours, is, yours may take 30 minutes, it might take an hour, so you need to leave time for this. Uh, and it looks very flat, don't worry about that. It is exporting the color that was originally in the video. There's no need to add more color. See how nice this color is? This is the color. Okay. The next thing we'll do is do the next video and so on. According to our timeline settings, if we just double click this, we're bringing up scope. You can see it's a very wide screen. I'm going to go to deliver. I'm going to label this one scope. I will add this to the render queue, add anyway and render. So notice because it's only a 16 second clip, it's got 30 seconds remaining. When we had a um, 13 minute clip and it wasn't even Apple ProRes, although yours should be Apple ProRes, uh, it was going to take 20 minutes. So the, so, and notice it does look like it's uh, flat but that is really not the way your DCP is going to look. We're going to check these DCPs at the end. And I'll bring this over. There's nothing that's being stripped out from your color. Okay. Um, now we'll do the final one. We go back to the media pane and we'll double click this. Because it's flat, we want to and let's check this by going making it smaller. We're going to make it uh, Let's bring it down to 21. You can see that there's some um, what's called pillar boxing on the side. With the transform button, you can bring this full full screen. Uh, there's still going to be some pillar boxing in Charlene Gordon because it's a UHD 4K instead of DCI. But now we have it at least going out to the full screen of this. Um, so you will have to make those little adjustments for UHD 4K. We will go to the deliver pane. We'll call this a uh, flat deliver. And now what we want to do is say, this is our flat. We're gonna pull uh, the selection here for these, for everyone who's shooting 3840 by 2160 UHD 4K. You will use these settings. And now it's ready to deliver. I had to add it to the render queue at anyway and I'm going to render. Notice it appears to be taking the color out, but it is not. When we check these videos, it's gonna look perfectly normal in the timeline. Now what I want to do is say file save. So I'm gonna go into the media pane. Uh, the first thing I wanna do is to save the project give the project a name. Now what I want to do is to create a new project. I want to save the project as, I'm going to call this DCP, 
This is DCP check 1205.22. I'm going to create this to uh, import my, it wants to update the cache. You don't really need to do that if you can see your hard drives here. Um, so what I want to do now is to bring in the DCPs. These are the DCP files we just created, okay? So we want to see what they look like. Everyone was concerned that they didn't have color. Uh, this is the DCP flat. This is the DCP full. Looks exactly the way it did. And this is the DCP scope. Okay? So if we go into the edit pane and pull, the, well, we don't need to really go into the edit pane. What we want to do is to check them here um, and see how they're fitting into the frame itself. We can check our metadata over here. And the metadata is correct. I'm satisfied that I've created nice DCPs for the showcase. They're fitting into the frame. What you don't want to see is big pillar boxes or the wrong size in the frame. It means that you haven't used the correct uh, aspect ratios for your movie files. These should be 4K. The requirement for the course is 4K and that these are created through DaVinci Resolve. Okay, no need to export these. I'm going to save and quit. Save project and quit project. So that's a little bit of how to create a DCP in DaVinci Resolve from your Apple ProRes 422HQ files. Leave yourself adequate time. There are eight stations in CCB 126 and